now the system is ready to measure. That means the P1000 is connected to the welding line, the wire sensor is connected, and the gas flow sensor is connected, and all sensors are connected to the weld scanner. Here you see the weld scanner, this small box, for measuring a welding process. What means measuring a welding process? The weld scanner, during the welding, automatically detects when a welding process is started and starts to uh, saving the data in the weld scanner. The weld scanner has some possibilities, that means you have a possibility to give him some times, to example a pre-trigger time, a post-trigger time, that means we start the welding process if the current more than, to example, 20 amperages, but we store the data also a pre-trigger time before the start and a post-trigger time after the start of the welding process. That means when the welding process will be start, I will switch on the welding machine and just now, you see, we measure 70 volts. That's a voltage that gives us the welding machine now. And now we will start the welding process and you will see the system automatically detects that the welding process is started. We have online show you a current of 100 amperes and the wire speed and the gas flow rate. Please stop the welding process, Mr. Hübner. After the welding, we can see the results. That means results. We see the curves of the welding process. Here we have several welds. And I will do the last weld. And we see now the curve of current, voltage, wire and gas flow. That means in this small box we store the causes, the curves of the welding process for all the parameters for current, voltage, wire and gas flow. We have the possibility to store also up to two additional customer specific parameters, two example temperature, two example welding speed or whatever the customer wants. That means four fixed parameters for current, voltage, wire and gas flow plus two additional customer specific parameters. You can see the data here, you can uh, evaluate the data, you can print out the data from this system but you can also save the data to a USB stick.